So wait, the hustle man really show up at the uh, Baton Rouge spot? He did, but I actually saw him again later. I saw him once I was a dealer. I was a blackjack dealer at the Bell of Baton Rouge. And he didn't know it was me. I knew immediately who the fuck he was. Right. He didn't know who he was. He was like a little short, stout dude. He had a gold tooth in his oh, mouth. <laughs> With a gold tooth in his mouth. And just a rowdy ass cat. Right. So, I'm a blackjack dealer. I see him, he sees me, and he doesn't know it's me. He comes up to my table, we're playing, he only has like maybe 40 bucks. We're playing like a five dollar table, right? I am trying to beat the shit out of him. He don't know who I am. I wanna beat the shit out of him and tell him who I am. Right. But it ain't but fucking 40, 50 bucks. Right. He got my chain. He's wearing it, he's still wearing it? He still got my chain on! So I'm dealing to him, right? He loses. And every time he loses, he was getting mad. And I was like, oh, man, almost had it. He was like, hey, man, I don't, need, I don't need no motherfucker rooting for me. I don't need no motherfucker rooting for me. I was like, oh, my bad. I was just you know, being, just trying to be polite. I don't need all that shit, nigga. He talking to me rough, too. I don't give a fuck. I won't take that money. I take his last five. He's only been $5, so he fucking nigga. He playing. I whoop his ass. Take the last little money out, right? He stands up and look, I say, do you remember me? Like I really did something up to 40, 50, I was like, you remember me? He was like, nah, I don't remember you. But right now, I feel like busting your motherfucking head and snatching them motherfucking chips and running the fuck out of here. <laughs> I said, hold up. You can skip that whole head busting part, you can skip that. You can just take this shit and run. I ain't even gonna say nothing. And he was like, oh, he kind of giggled. And he said, hey man, where I know you from? I said, that chain that's around your fucking neck, you hustled me. He was like, oh, that's you, nigga. Oh, man. Hey, nigga, you work here? Yes. <laughs> you think it's a fucking uh, Halloween costume, nigga? This is it. <laughs> that nigga, and he, but from that point on, he would come to the boat, and we kind of got cool. And I was like, bro, what's your name? He was like, man, they call me Head Busser. <laughs> that nigga said they called me head buster. Yep, we got cool after that. How long was he out there hustling? He had been, he had just got out of jail. He, I said he got out of jail and got straight to hustling. Yeah. He probably had been out of jail like a year and was just hustling. You ever get your chain back? Never, <laughs> never got that chain. That's, part of the game. That's it. That's chalked up. Wow. That nigga hit me with that. That nigga took that goddamn. Chain. I saw this nigga twice with my chain on. You know how they feel? This nigga, he, he, he got you. Yeah. But, I mean, he got you. He ain't shit you could do. And he just got the chain. Nigga, don't tuck the chain, nigga. Don't right. wear it. Tuck it. Don't be flossing into my face. Man. You flossing in your face on purpose. <laughs> he took his last little fight off. That nigga got me. When he, got, he was though. addicted to the hustle. Was he addicted? He was addicted to the hustle. Yeah, he was addicted. When he got out of jail, you know what he said to the hustle? What'd he say? Did you miss me? I got your ass, nigga. See, you was all into the story. You know what I'm saying? You, just, you need to not get caught up in the story. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Nigga, you trying to one-up each other? Hey, man. Trying to miss me, too? I don't know what's happening. Hey, Esau, since this is a you know, bonus, this ain't, this ain't going on a regular show, what, who was the chicks, though? Man, look. I ain't gonna say. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. I ain't gonna it's say. a show. I'm gonna tell y'all. Can I tell y'all honestly how I feel right now? Yeah. Do you remember the scene in The Godfather at the New Year's Eve ball when Michael seen Fredo and Fredo had betrayed him? And Michael walked up to Fredo and the band was playing and everybody was celebrating. They was dressed in their tuxedos. And Michael grabbed Fredo by the head and he kissed him on the face. And he said, Fredo, you broke my heart. <laughs> You're Fredo. <laughs> you broke my heart. <laughs> what, if I, what if I need y'all to, uh, to come over to me? Who, who I call? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> if, if you, if you. Tariq come in and he just wants to play the hits. Tariq just wants to play all hits. Like, I want to see these shit live. I want to see these shit live. I see where you at, but guess what? What's that? 
Tariq, I just found out recently that you're right. a wild boy. <laughs> I, I just got you all in three, two, three, because I tried to intervene and try to give you some, 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 uh, 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 some mentorship in there. And you said, uh, oh, no, 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 no. He scoffed at me. <laughs> he scoffed at me. I just, it was a yeah. scoffy season for me. And uh, I, I've, I've known that, I've heard that, uh, that you get pretty wild, Tariq. Well, the wildest part was, right the, was the time lapse from the guy. He set the cigarette up, like, said, I heard about the time lapse. He had the time lapse set up on his phone, so that was just. Wow. That's, Let me tell you something. That's the most ballin' shit I ever seen. Listen to me. He got, he got a few mad at Listen to me, man. Was, you when, mean, my story was really that bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they <laughs> were. like three minutes. Yeah. Hey, man, give us no details. They always feel like it's like, yeah, you, yeah. Hey, you Let me tell you what my drill sergeant, my drill sergeant would say about that story. He would say, who is that guest that was on? I was like, oh, that guy's name is Esau McGraw. Mmm, his stories were anti-pretty. <laughs> you know how I knew it was when you started with, so we was messing around. Oh, I was like, oh, <laughs> messing around. Details. I need to know it. I prepped this nigga, bro. <laughs> and I started saying, I was like, I know he been vetted. I know he been vetted. I know he been vetted. I said, I need 20 hot minutes. He gave us six. All right, listen. We done now. It's 20 hot right now. All right, all right. Mm-mm. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's all usable. You got something. You can speak your mind. Yeah, go and get him. Right, Listen, now. I'm going to tell you something. Now, the comments on fire about you. <laughs> yeah, they eat your ass They tearing right. your ass out the frame. Hey, man, whatever, man. No, no. <laughs> I'm just prepping you. Time, man. No, no, no. Oh, That's like saying oh. the dick don't work. Hey, hey, you know, uh-uh. Oh. You knew you was fucking when you well, came in here. What you mean the dick don't work? What you mean the dick don't work? Nah, baby, we come in this bitch pump primed and ready. <laughs> Ain't no gotta get this right. dick going. You gotta fluff your own shit, bro. You flay, man, hey, buck. <laughs> hey, hey. And like that nigga Roger, <laughs> like that nigga Roger told the nigga, uh, 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 it don't matter. I'll be back. I don't think you're coming back, Esau. Fuck that, I'm coming back. Coming back, you coming, coming back to the story. I don't. But you, back. See, listen, that's why I was trying to, and he was just cocky with it. Hey, man, we man, actually man, prepped man. him. I said, Esau, would you like, would you, you like? Have you seen the episode before? I watched. I watched. Said, I said, did you watch the episode of Tinkle? I sent him a short episode. With mm-hmm. Kevin Tate. Yeah, yeah. show this one too. I, I and I sent him Kevin Tate on purpose because he was also catching on slow and then he caught on. Right. That's why I sent you that episode just so you could see, oh, okay, this is what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I could, I could do it. Well, then he's like, oh, if I don't know Billy, it's going to be said, Everybody got a story. Everybody can tell it. Else. I'd have brought somebody with me. I said, nah, everybody can't do this. Yeah. He said, oh, no. Nah. I said, nah. We tried. All right. We tried all right, it right, all right, all right, with all right, comedians. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're just doing this for the bonus content. Yeah. yeah. They already, Good? no, they already seen it. They, they, they already commented on it. They've, <laughs> they've already expressed their feelings. They, let me tell you something. Hey, D-Lay, you know what? You're uh, you're doing like Trump be doing. You're enabling <laughs> your negative vibe. <laughs> the more violence, so, you, you're, you're enabling the violence so, to happen. So I'm putting the shit in the mail. Come on, man. I'm putting that shit in the mail. Come on, man. It's me putting that shit in the mail. It's, it's, it's me. Enabling the violence. It's, it's me. He's you know what Trump be doing, that? man? We don't even, man. <laughs> wow, you doing what Trump be doing. Billy, we miss you. <laughs> we All that to say. need you. Uh, Come on home, Billy. Hey, Billy. We hey. thought we could. Hey, Billy, we thought we could we do this thing could. without you. We really hey, Billy. We could, hey, bro, listen. We can't. But listen, bro, wherever we you at. Wherever you at. Wherever we... Come on, listen. <laughs> Billy, come on back, baby. Let's do addition this thing. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Let's do it like old times. Duck. JT. I'm Johnny Gill. Let's do it like. I can't, I, can't I can't keep up with the dance moves. Man. Man. I can't keep up with the dance moves. Man. Johnny couldn't <laughs> wait for I Can't Stand the Rain. Man. Like, man, hurry up and stop all this goddamn dancing. Can You Stand the Rain needs to be the second song. Goddamn it, I can't dance all these goddamn songs. I, I'm going to be tied to out of breath to do my solo, nigga. Johnny Gill was barely hanging on in them dance steps. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That nigga was struggling. He was sweating and shit. That nigga's uh, goddamn S-curl. And that, that's going to be the best shit right there. Yeah. 